separation of ways with Mike Yo. They announced that the interim head coach would be John Torchetti. Here's a look at his resume and what he brings to the table. Torchetti was most recently the head coach for the Iowa Wild, a job he began in November of 2014. His 20 plus years of coaching include stints as an interim head coach of the Florida Panthers and the LA Kings. He was also an assistant coach with the Blackhawks during their 2010 Stanley Cup winning season. He's known as a hard nosed coach who expects a lot from his players. Moving forward, I mean, we, we, we want to win a game. That's, that's the first and foremost thing we want to do and uh, get, get the team playing with confidence. Um, you know, play with our structure. I'm sure, you know, you hear that word a lot. But, but for me, it's the competing part. Uh, I want to be mentally tough. Any situation that happens, we're ready for it and we're focused. And uh, no matter what happens during the game, we're going on to the next play and uh, just, being, just making sure that we're, we're ready and we're focused to go. And obviously with him being in Iowa, there's a sense of familiarity between mm -hmm. him and the players. He's coached 12 of these wild guys at some point or another um, over his tenure as a coach. So obviously the familiarity is key. What else uh, do you like about what he brings to the table? Well, him just talking about mental toughness, uh, that hits a chord with me because if you're playing in the National Hockey League, there's a lot of stress. The stress level can be very high. You know before every season that you're going to be going through stretches like this. What kind of leadership do you have in the locker room? How are your kids, how are your teammates uh, um, put mentally? Uh, how are they put together? This guy's going to hold players accountable. There's no question about it. He's a, he's a, he's a definite disciplinarian. And uh, this is a guy, John Torchetti, that coached over in, in, in Russia for a year, probably making between a million and a million and a half dollars a year tax-free came back to coach uh, in, in the minors for probably a fifth of that kind of money. So you, I can tell you when he came decided to come back, he was looking for a head coaching position in the National Hockey League. This is a great opportunity for John Torchetti. I had an opportunity to talk to a couple different players um, that had played for him um, over the last few years. Uh, one guy said he didn't like him at all, and the other guy said he loved him. So that's a, like most typical players, uh, depending <laughs> on how much uh, the guys played. But um, I'm going to say this. Both guys said John Torchetti is not going to ask you if you're ready to play. Uh, he, he's going to tell you, you better be ready to play or you're not going to play. It doesn't matter if it's Zach Parisi, Christian Folan, Eric Hall. It doesn't matter. Um, so that's going to be a refreshing voice um, in, in the locker room. Um, he's very passionate, you could tell, um, uh, about him wanting to win games and uh, very excited to see him in, in